Okay, how's everyone going? I know it's been a good, you know, five minutes since I last posted a video on this thing. But the weather's not exactly overly good here at the moment. So we're in the middle of winter. Well, three quarters of the way through winter, I suppose you'd say. Um, but yeah, today's the day I've got to pull the front end out of it. And we're going to see if we can get the sump off, maybe. And then the motor will come out because I'm probably going to take the motor back down home because, uh, yeah, I just can't get enough time to work on it up here and it'd be so much easier if it was at home but I've just got to sort out somewhere to actually work on it but, yeah, that, that's, that's another story so, yeah, today pulled the drag link out actually, I've got to look at that I think that's a bit of an oddball one it might be something... It's different to the power major. I don't know if supers have a slightly different one or not. But I'll get to that in a minute. Um, <clears throat> I pulled the pins out for the front end. They weren't too bad to get out and just, you know, prepped a few things before I switched the camera on just so you're not watching me faff around belting out pins and swearing at things. So, yeah, you haven't missed a great deal. Weather's been, you know, average at best. Cold, wet windy but actually it's been a pretty good winter for us it's yeah I, i'm not really a massive climate change skeptic but yeah we our our winter average temperature probably was at least three or four degrees of what it was last year and most years and yeah we didn't get you know nowhere near the rain and whatnot but we've still got a month of winter to go, so things could change. But usually by this time we've had snow here and yeah, so it's it's been pretty good. Um, yeah, I don't know what else to really update you on. You haven't really missed anything, I haven't really done a lot. I put the post hole borer on the power major and that does work. That's really, really nice. Well, I was a bit sceptical about that because it was pretty cheap, but... No, it works quite well for, you know, what it is. Um, what else did I do? I replaced the knobs on the race PTO and the gear knob. I've got to fix the gear knob one. It doesn't screw on overly well. Um, I did a quick bit of maintenance on this the other day. I put coolant in it. which It's never had coolant in it. Replaced the hoses because they weren't real good. And popped the taco drive unit on it that was broken and of course being aftermarket one it doesn't fit very well but it works the first time ever this thing's had an actual operating taco so that's nice um that's about it literally i think it was a couple of months ago i posted a video and that's literally all i've done with the tractors um so yeah you didn't miss much uh, what else is going on around here not a lot absolutely not a lot um, plan to do a walk around video on these ones at some point. That might be next weekend or it might be later today. We'll see how we go. Depending on if anyone's interested in these old things. But I might leave it to another day so then I can actually fire, fire them up and I don't know, do a couple laps around the paddock and stuff with them. Because they both run. They're both runners and driving. Oh, I've got to fix the gear shifter on this one. Yeah, doing a few little modifications there. Um, yeah, that's about all you really missed, I think. Um, yeah, nothing much. It's just been cold and miserable. And a lot of, like, when I was doing this, the weather wasn't too bad. But it was that windy. I opened the door of the Land Cruiser and was standing beside it, and the door nearly knocked me over. So there was no point videoing anything, because you wouldn't have seen, well, you wouldn't have heard squat. And I would have had to voice over it and fanny around and... I'm a bit of a one-shot wonder. <laughs> I don't like editing too much. I just cut out the garbage and get the good bits and that's it. That's all I do. I don't have time to really, you know, do all that sort of stuff. But, yeah, maybe one day I might sort something like that out. Depending on if I have a really good video and I screw it up and the, there's no sound, I might voice over it. Um, what else have been happening? Not much. I'm going to make another muffler for the tractors. I... 
got this nice little resonator from work. It's a genuine Mitsubishi resonator off a ASX, I think. It's two inch. So I'll put some pipe on that and we'll see what that sounds like on one of them. All right. So here's the two steering shafts. <clears throat> this is the one I'm used to that I've seen on most of them. An adjustable style with a spring and you know all that sort of jazz in there. And that's what's been on both of these tractors. But that Super Major has this other one on here with greasable balls, which are all flogged out. And they didn't fit very well. So I don't know if this is aftermarket or off a later Ford, like a Ford 4000, 3000 or something or whatever equivalent size tractor. I'm not quite sure yet. So if you know, post in the comments, let me know if that's an aftermarket original or what the go is with it. Because yeah, the other one down there, <coughs> that has that bottom style link in it. But someone's butchered the end off it and put like an eye in there with a, just a bolt in it and yeah, buggered it all up. So either way, I'm going to have to do something. Either fix that one down there or fix this one. I think you buy ends for them. And I think I have seen these ball type ends. So yeah, depending on what it was supposed to have is what it will get. Um... I do have another spare link with that bottom style system, but it's, yeah, it's bent like a banana and not in the best of nick, but it would work. I could straighten it and, yeah, use that if I have to, but we'll see. See what it can come up with and what it's supposed to have. I didn't match that. Anywho, all right, let's get back to this thing. So, all right, if I jack this up, we should be able to roll this front end out. As long as it doesn't fall on me. Fall. Ooh. If it falls on me, this might be the most popular video on YouTube. But that's not, that's a really bad trade. <laughs> you should spin around or come on. Yeah, you come. Oh, yeah. Two more. We're out. Now, got to sneak this thing forward. So if I, or actually if I grab, grab that, come on. Woo -hoo. Well, it's not how I wanted it to work, but beggars can't be choosers. I'll move this. Cause I'm hoping that radiator is still salvageable. Now, let's have a look down here. So there's no bushing in there. I'm not quite sure if there's supposed to be one or not. There's one in the back. That's good, that means that hole shouldn't be flogged out. I thought there was supposed to be a bushing in the front as well. I don't know. So I think this is different to a power major one. That's all right. So most of it doesn't look too bad. Won't know what's in here until we pull all that apart, but because front axle on the other one is not great. That's got a lot of issues, but we might be able to say, use this bar off that one, back bit off this one, you know, drag link off whichever one's better, rebuild all these, rebuild all in here, just whatever we sort of got to do. But this isn't bad, like I can pick this up with the tractor and hoik it onto the back of the ute and take it home and fiddle with it. Just need a bit of room, it's half the problem. Yeah, all that'll come off. Should be obviously a bit leaky over the years. Now, now that we've done that bit, bloody flyy things, this is a bit precarious. Take this, lower this back down onto. Oh, 
I'll stand back, let that settle. Because as you can see, it's just that point and that point. You don't want to upset the apple cart too much. Because, yeah, last thing I want is to be making a, a video of my last moments. As he says, when he wriggles the thing on the downhill side of it. Oh yeah, that should come out. Maybe. Have we made a blunder? Oh, I think we have. Yep, we've made a blunder. <clears throat> Alright. Up periscope and we need to put a packer under there. mil deep oh, scared the living bejesus out of me all right all right i'll be back all right let's go again a couple of bits of timber there back yeah I think we're better now nearly did it without putting the camera on I was like getting a bit excited there all well, those things just you know, want to get done uh, all right I stand on that put that away I'll just throw them there for the moment so I don't have to restart the camera. Yeah, I think we're fairly solid. I can't see it's having too many issues. That can go over there. Grab this. Have a bit of a laugh, see what, how much water and how much well, rubbish and junk is going to come out of the sump. I'll get a spanner for that. Alright, <clears throat> got that plug cracked off. Now, I noticed something while I was under here. It's got the big plate style sump on it. And there's green paint under all this well, grease and stuff. So, I think that might mean it's had a sump on it, because I think that's for an early style tractor. Maybe it's late. I can't remember. One or two. All right. So take your bets. What's going to come out of here? I'm guessing water, rust penetrant, and oil. And a mix of all three. Let's see. Water should be on the bottom. Oh, okay. Well, that's a lot better than I thought it was going to be. I think there's something in that plug hole. Hmm. That oil is lovely, but mixed with rust penetrant, so that's probably why it looks pretty nasty. But it's not full of water. Yeah, okay. Oh, someone left that bolt loose for me. Oh, that, that's nice of them. All I can just see, hopefully you guys can see that. It looks like there's a big chunk of something. Just slowly working its way out. That's not like poke it out with. Oh no. Oh, oh. 
Oh dear. I wonder what that was. Sludge? Yeah, that's nasty. That's real nasty. I'll let that drain out for a bit. <sighs> yeah. I suppose the next thing is to pull the front off, pull the tombstone and um, side rails off. But then I can't keep the motor, I have to cover the motor with like a tarp or something. I don't know if I want to do that or not. Hmm. Don't know. I don't know. I might have a think about that. It's all going to come off anyway, but I don't know if I'm ready today for that. There's a lot of things. Um, the rattle gun would be good to have up here too. But no, it's not here. Because now I can take all the flywheel off, clutch. I suppose mine's locked up though, so I can just use a bar on it. Yeah, we're getting pretty late in the afternoon, so I don't know if I really want to start going hell for leather on everything. Hmm, maybe next weekend. Right, just fill this video in. I'm not going to pull the sump or the front end or the frame rails and stuff off today. We'll leave that because that won't take much shit off, but we'll strip off. The generator, the water pump. Let's get rid of this bonnet. Do -do -do. And then we're gonna put this. So we'll strip whatever we can off here. And yeah, get it a bit more ready. So we can just do a quick yoink. Also, too, I've screwed up here, I just realised. Engine crane's going to have to go there to get that out. Oh, might not be too bad. I only need to come forward, you know, that much. Just to get the flywheel clutch clear. Drop it on the ground. So, yeah, I might be able to come out on the ground. Crane around the other way, pick it up. And then the crane's not going to roll on this very well, so... I've played that game before, so I know what to do there. You pick it up and you use Land Cruiser and drag the crane. It sounds dodgy, but it actually works. Because those wheels will go straight to China and they'll just drag on the frame. But it'll move it. So, get this off here. See how all the nastiness is going. Doesn't look any better than it was. <laughs> uh, it's not like it fixed itself or anything. <sighs> All right, so I need some something, something, somethings for them. Half inch or whatever. All right, we'll go to Land Cruiser and we'll get some spanners and whatnot. Now, don't laugh. I'm not good with the Imperial sizes. I work on metric stuff every day. So, we just grab a few. Maybe bit, no, no, I'll take that. Maybe use that one. Oh, no, I'll take it anyway. inch maybe maybe I am right maybe I'm wrong sort of right yep Ooh, that one might not she's sort of down in there a bit I don't know she's moving 
Now, if all the bolts break off on this, I would not be surprised. But, I'm actually quite surprised working on these old Fordsons. Um, hope you can see that over that. Uh, I bolt that. Oh, no. Apparently, I didn't really bolt that back on again. So, we'll get rid of that. You might not be able to see. Oh yeah, that's better. Now we should be able to see everything. Make life a bit nicer. There's no point recording this if you can't see it. Oh, this is going to be slow and tedious. Unless, really should separate. Yeah, we'll do it that way. Oh wow. That's not great. That is like not real good. I don't think it's broken, it's just rusted. Fans are not even tight anyway. That would have been fun. Just you know, firing the motor up, stand beside it and get wiped out by the bloody fan. Nothing surprised me on this tractor. Some of the things you notice, like the bolt in the bell housing, it's not even done up, and I'm pretty sure it's cross-threaded. The fact the bolts in here and here were metric. Now, I, I like metric. I use metric every day, but no, that's, that's just not a done thing. So you can guarantee those threads in there are going to be really nice. They're supposed to be two-piece. Someone's booger welded it back together. Yeah. Another bit for the bin. Oh. <laughs> oh, I think they're supposed to be round, not oval. This is the issue with this tractor. If you want to fix it, everything is a little bit butchered on it. That's why some people say, no, we should fix it up, but it's just so far gone. Um, yeah, there's actually one of these for sale down here at the moment on Gumtree. Really nice. Oh yeah, that bearing's beautiful. Oh yeah. Yep, no, she's quieting up. <laughs> um, yeah, it, it's $8,000. I think they said six or eight and it's spread painted like it's quite you know how do you put it aesthetically pleasing doesn't need anything doing to it you know it's not a lot of money so you just buy it and enjoy it except idiot here is trying to fix ones that aren't really worth fixing but it makes good youtube content So yeah, that's the thing with this thing, it's only really good for parts. That's gonna make things go a bit better. And how are these bolts gonna be? Oh yeah. Serviceable still. A bit of a wide wheel, they'll be alright. They'll go again. I think one of these, is this one is longer. Oh, maybe not. I thought there was a long one in here somewhere. So I put all this in the shed. Well, if you can call it a shed. <laughs> yeah, the old timber shed over there. She's storing a few forwards and parts just to keep it out of the way for the moment. It's sort of out of the weather. Hitty thingy. Uh, right. FYI, I'm not using this water pump again. 
so don't stress about. Ooh. Ooh, wow. Oh, yeah. That is just. Oh. <laughs> oh, that's nasty. She nasty. That was obviously where the high tide mark, where the water's been sitting. That's... <sighs> Got to do a lot of cleaning on this thing, aren't I? <sighs> Why do I do it? Half inch, half inch, yeah. Oh well, it is what it is. There's still no guarantees with this engine. I might... Pull the whole thing to bits and find that it's absolutely fuba. That's going to be really disappointing. Very anticlimactic. It's alright for you guys at home. You'll get to watch a few videos and laugh at me when I realise the motor's trashed. Oh well, should be right. I'll endeavour, I'll. Actually, if this motor is no good. Been tempted to put a six cylinder in it. Stretch her out and yeah, do a six cylinder conversion. I like the idea, but the practicality is very low. It's got two stage clutch in it, I'm pretty sh sure, so you know that they're not great with six cylinders. So it's not really a not the greatest um option. Be cool though if you're just doing parade stuff and whatnot, but I might actually use this thing. Sometimes it's nice to have two tractors. Like you can leave the slasher on one, <coughs> you know, forks on the other. and But that one's going to be fully resprayed and, you know, all nice and shiny. So it's, I'm probably not really going to want to do anything much with it. But you never know. We'll see. Nicely. Okay. I was a bit worried about that, it might be seized, but turns. It's never a bad thing. Okay, put these bolts back where they came from. All right. So I'll get rid of some of this stuff. And I'll be back. Okay, I've cleaned all that stuff up and whatnot. <clears throat> so, yeah, all things considered, made a little bit of progress today. It's actually, yeah, there's nothing really much to pull the engine out now. It's just three bolts each side there, two are already missing. Slide the front end out, or the frame rails and stuff, and then bell housing bolts and lift it off. So, that's pretty good. I'm happy with that. Um, so next time, yeah, we'll be lifting the motor off and, um, yeah, I'll put it on the back of the ute and we'll take it down to town and I'll strip all the flywheel and everything off and I might even take the sump off too so it sits better. Take the sump oil pickup or the oil pump and pick up line off and then it won't rock and roll around in the back of the ute. Maybe, I don't know, we'll see. Yeah, we'll get set up on some type of stand and we'll start drifting pistons and liners and stuff out and we'll be cleaning it. Um, I won't be actually painting it as yet. So, yeah, the, um, 
it'll just get a mechanical restoration for the moment and then we'll do an aesthetic one well once I have the facilities to do one so yeah we're not going to paint that just yet I don't think <laughs> we'll see how we go um, just trying to think what else I can add try and fill in this video a little bit because it's not going to be a very long one I don't think it'd be just nice to get this stripped but I've got to do a lot of work at home to make a space a usable space because we don't have a lot of room well we do but it's full of stuff <laughs> so I'll be piling some things away and making some, a bit of room and we should be able to get this somewhat yeah on a stand somewhere I do have a stand there I think it'll take one of these the last one I rebuilt for the power major we just did that on the ground had a bit of board and flipped on upside down you know crank rods flipped it up the other way dropped the liners in and it worked but that's all I'm gonna say it worked but it wasn't overly great <clears throat> so yeah that's gonna be the plan Actually, I'll take this off and show you what you hear. You can see in there, green paint on that sump. So, that's not the sump off this engine. What else I'll show you while I'm here, oh yeah. Unless you didn't, if you didn't get to see in there real good. Oh, bloody GoPro. There we go. Now I can see what I'm looking at. Yeah, that's, that's nasty. So yeah, I think that's an early model sump, not like a first gen sump. Hmm. Because, hold on, I'll pause this for a minute, I'll bring you back. Alright, this is a bit of parts stash I've got. Now you can see, no round plate. It's got two just straight ribs. I think this is more of a that's a power major sump. I think the newer ones are similar to that. Because the in-between ones they had a lug here, like on each end, I think. But this sump, uh, you get down in there. That slot was supposed to be a hole for the um, split pin, cutter pin, whatever you want to call it. So it's toast. I suppose I might be able to weld that and drill it, but it's also got it's got a bushing in here. I don't know if this. Oh, they might supposed to have bushing. I'm not quite sure. But that's the block, the original power major block. So that's why I've sort of kept it. Um, and that's the sump off the motor that's in the power major. So, yeah. Oh, well, there's the spare. Remember, I said I had another arm. There's, there it is there, but she's not real straight. Actually, we've got a fan down there too. So that's all right. I can use that instead of the craptacular one that they welded back together and the spare nose cone all the yellow stuff is off the original power major loader um, <clears throat> so yeah if you see yellow bits that's where they came from because that was an industrial tractor all right let's have a look while i'm here this is what i was saying about the someone's cut the end off the shaft i think and just no, no. I don't know if that was an end of some description they've modified it but yeah I don't know but that's the, the standard end that I'm used to with the spring and whatnot in it so I might repair this one maybe I don't know I've got to do a bit of checking see if it's supposed to have greasable ball joints or these serviceable ball joints um, Let's get some other stuff. Oh, yeah. Have a look, see what sumps on this engine. Ugh. Ugh. Ah, this has got an early sump. Ah, okay. Fair enough. Yeah, well, this engine's like a 50, 55, I think, motor. So that makes sense. They've been under this tractor. Hmm, greasy. Okay. Um, yeah, there's not much to look at under here. Now, I was going to ask another question for you guys, if, you know, if you're in the know, these lift arms, they are 
are they super major lift arms or are they off something else? Because they're different to the power major ones. Obviously this one's been, yeah, she broke it. So I'm sort of, because they're the arms that come off the, the other one up there, we're ripping the motor out of. And that's the same bottom section as the power major. So I don't know, I have seen some tractors around and people said, oh yeah, they're Ford 3000, like leveling box and lift arms and stuff. It does work. It's all been book world back together there, but yeah, I was just thinking that. Yeah, I don't. I know you can buy replacement ones, but they're really dear. I was gonna put that one on this side just to keep this arm up, because yeah, the rope. Yeah, she's not. She's a temporary thing. But that rope's been on it since I've ever, like, since I owned this tractor. And it hasn't broken. I'll give it brownie points for that. So, yeah, I'm sort of just working out whether or not these lift arms, well, the leveling box and I suppose fixed to link, you'd call it, are for it or are they off something else? If they're off something else, they can go in the bin. I want to try and at least keep a lot of the stuff correct, I suppose you'd say. Because I do know that the, I suppose you call them check chains or you know, anti-sway chains or whatever. They do change a little bit. So I think these are okay. They might be C's, but yeah, no, I think they're all intact. Except someone's put a bolt in here. I don't know why. Um, and yeah, I think I've got enough bits because I've got a bad one on the power major. But I think for memory, um, up here, from here up is different. They have a different I suppose shackle, what do you want to call it, and a longer eye here. But the rest of it I think is fairly much the same. And mine's broken through here, and through one of these links, and I'm missing one of the washers. So I think I've got enough bits off the other one, off the super, that are the same, to fix that. But I don't want to, you know, then be short bits for this. So I think by the looks of this, if I heat them up and free them all up, they'll be fine. And I think this arm is the one that's flogged. Yeah, that's, that's the bad one. I think one of the arms on the other one, it's got stuff welded to it. But I think I can clean that up and get away with it. Because this one still has the ball. Admittedly, it's pretty worn. And, ooh, that, yeah, that looks a little bit average there. But, no, you know, one of those things. Beggars can't be choosers. Because I know you can buy lift arms as well, but they're horrifically expensive. A lot of stuff for these is really expensive here in Tasmania. Well, Tasmania, in Australia. Not so bad in the UK. But, um, yeah, when the weather gets a bit better, we might fire this thing back up again and see, see if we run it for a bit. Maybe that mist might get a little better. Uh, so it's just making content for you guys. Like, the motor's going to come out, so it doesn't matter. But if we can get that other front end under this thing, might actually be able to do a proper lap of the paddock. So that front end will go back down to town at some point and <clears throat> yeah I'll have to go through it and make sure it's all good. Well no, recondition it make sure it's okay. I think that side upright we might be able to use. Um, yeah that side yeah not so much. As long as the actual main bar isn't flogged out where the bushes go. I think we'll have enough bits to make it work. But then again, we've got two sets of them as well, so we might, you'd probably be right. Because the issue is, you start buying bits like that, you know, I think they're $250 each ish. It's about five, five fifty for the pair of those, you know, upright and the top joint. That's what you pay for a parts tractor, just about. Oi rub it on me stuff um yeah so if you like the stuff yeah like share subscribe blah 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 whatever and i'll see you all in the next one